and it takes a lot of courage just to even get down here. I'm walking into a place that's legendary, that's, you know, it's one of the oldest and the best Thai boxing gyms in England. It's the home of champions. We're known for, for producing best fighters in England, best fighters in the world. There used to be this thing on telly, late, late night, early hours of the morning called Now is the Time, Night of Combat. And uh, there was a gym on that I used to sort of follow and support uh, people fighting from a gym that called Wicker Camp. Just kind of got into it through being being a, a young boy, wanting to do a, a different, you know, different sport. When I first started, in the lifestyle I was leading at the time, I, I'd got a reputation as being a probably a bit of a fight or whatever, a bit of a... I don't know, thug, if you like. Sometimes I felt like it was undeserved, this reputation I'd got. So, Thai boxing, I thought, had challenged me more than any other. I was getting fit doing some running and other bits and pieces, and I met this lass who was uh, at a gym, and she was wearing Thai boxing shorts. And I asked her, do you do Thai boxing? She said, yeah, I train at Wicker Camp. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? The legendary Wicker Camp? And she said, no, will you take me? She said, yeah, she brought me down. And I couldn't believe that I was walking into this place. It's like, I've seen this place on time. It's a legendary gym. It's one of the oldest gyms, the best gyms in England. The first time I came to Wicker Camp, came down, and I can remember the first technique I ever learned, it was clinch knee. And um, that was it, basically. I just fell in love with it. It was just so hands-on. Um, it was more than, any, you know, it was so different to karate or taekwondo. Um, it was just so hands on and I just thought, this is awesome this. This is really what I need right now in my life. We had a list on wall in changing rooms and it said um, how many area champions we had, how many English, how many British, how many European and, and, and how many world champions we had. When I became world, world champion, I, you know, I went on to a list of, of, of great people, you know, Trix, Imran Khan, uh, Lee Chesters, Christine De Paolo, uh, Daniel Hudson, you know, and I, other than Trix, I trained with these lads, you know, these are my idols and, you know, I'd never ever been treated any different and that's, you know, what I loved about it. It weren't like, right, all the lads are doing under press-ups, you're a girl so you only have to do 50, you know, it was like, they're doing 100, you're doing 100. I weren't. Ellen, I weren't a female, I were a fighter, and I was treated like a fighter. <laughs> this gym had a massive reputation. You know, and, and you feel so honoured to put that robe on and when you walk to that ring and you stood there and, you know, you do your round more and you're representing Wicker Camp, the, the feeling that you get is, you know, phenomenal. There was never any doubt in my mind that I wanted to fight for anybody else, you know. I was totally loyal to this club. Sometimes it can be a preconception about what we're about, but as soon as they walk from them to them doors and they get that warm welcome, I think, it, you know, it relaxes that person and then, you know, they, they feel like they can just be themselves, you know, they're not going to get judged if they've got Asperger's or autism or, you know, if they've had drug abuse or, you know, been an alcoholic before. But it's, it's not about, um, it's not about the past really or, or what they're going through. It's about, you know, trying to make them into, some, in, into something what they want to be. So I started Thai boxing. I actually had a relapse and went back on, on heroin. I, I owe me recovery to Wicker camp as much as what I do, the rehab. Nobody ever gets judged down here. Just so open-minded, and you could tell more or less anybody, especially instructors, whatever your, your background, uh, and they'll help you through through that, whatever it is. I got me sinus fracture. Banging shins up, odd black eye, 
I've been put down a few times, been wobbled. I had surgery on my shoulder, which put me out for like two and a half years. A good, hard, solid leg kick. If you get it right, you get them in the right place, it's going to upset most people. Leg kicks are devastatingly hard. It's a... Uh, you don't understand how hard until you get actually kicked with a shin across your thigh. Clinch is always good as well. If you get a bit too close to somebody, getting the knee up into the clinch, you know, up into the rib at the side, that'll drop most people who aren't total condition. If you're blocking all the time with your legs, you want to get kicked in first. There's always a, an opening and this, it's, it's super tough. It's such an honest sport in that way. A proportion of it is instinct, you know. You see a you see a target without even knowing that there's a target there. So, you know, your opponent might have his weight on his front front leg, and you know he can't block that block that kick if you throw it. But you don't think, oh, his weight's on his front leg. I need to throw that kick. You just throw it because you know you've probably done it thousands of times. You just know you know how it goes and what and what to do and when to do it. In the ring, you're trying to to figure out what their weaknesses are, what they don't like, so you can exploit it. And you know, it's that many variations of variables in in Thai boxing. It's difficult to have one 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 rule for everyone. You just got to learn to adapt and be versatile. I think you know, in a fight, very important. I find. Coming here and learning at Wicker Camp has been one of the best things I've done in my life. Making tricks have um, devoted their lives to, to making gym what it is, you know, putting that positive um, vibe around and we've kind of been influenced by it and it's just stemmed off us into other people, yeah, so. As a club, we're very humble, you know, us guys, we... I think one, Mick and Tricks would never stand for it if you were, you know, very arrogant about yourself and secondly, get some right hand off lads. Down at Wicker Camp, it's more about the friendships, uh, our people are down here, They're just so open-minded and whatever your, your background. It's like a family, it's like a community place and you, you come in and you might be a little bit nervous and whatever but you get to know people, you get to know the instructors, you're all treated well and you, you, you become part of the family. Having that, that little bit of aspiration to maybe not look up to a fighter, but see that dedication that a fighter fighter has. You know, it, it kind of spurs people on to to you know train the same way and be devoted in the same way and have that same aspect of uh, a loyalty. And there, there is something special in this place. You can't really put your finger on it.